Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and yes, I'm going to show you guys how to configure storage replica within your infrastructure. Now, I have two virtual machines right now, and both virtual machines are running Server 2016. And if I go inside my disk management, I have two disks that I reformatted using the partition of NTFS, and I called the E drive data and the F drive logs. Now, if I go into my second machine, the second machine, if I go inside storage, it's the same thing. I have two partitions. Uh, they're both reformatted using NTFS again, uh, and I call it data and logs. Uh, I make sure that they have the same letter because it makes it super simple when you're pushing out the PowerShell uh, commandlet that I'm going to show you guys. And don't worry, I'm going to put the link at the bottom of the video so you guys just copy and paste and just change whatever you need to change. Now, because we're doing storage replica, what you need to do is install the storage replica feature within both servers. So I am going to just close my disk management. Now within server manager, go to manage, go to add roles and features. Within here, we're going to go to next, click next again, click next again. We're going to click next again. Uh, within the features, go all the way down until you find storage replica. So click on that. Accept all the added features that it needs. Click on next and click install. Now, while the first server is doing this thing, let's go back into our second server. And we need to do the same thing within this server. So let's close this up. And within Server Manager on the second server, go to Manage, Add Roles and Features, click on Next, click on Next again, Next, click Next, and then once we're inside the Feature section, go all the way down until you find the Storage Replica, click on it, accept all the features that it needs, click on Add Features, click on Next, and Install. And let's go back inside the first server. First server is still doing the installation, and on the second server, eventually it's going to start. All right, guys, so it looks like uh, storage two, and also if I go inside storage one, they're both completed. Storage replica feature was installed successfully, which is awesome, but the machines need to be rebooted. So what I'm going to do is click on close on storage one. I'm going to close the server manager, and I'm just going to restart this machine. Restart the first machine. Awesome. Hit continue. And on storage two, we're going to do the same thing. Close that up. And we're going to restart the second machine as well. And then once both machines are restarted, and I'm going to log back into the desktop, and then we're going to continue. All right, guys. So it looks like our machines are rebooted. Uh, Server manager is up and running, and it's time for us to configure our storage replica. Now, Within the servers, if you go inside tools, there's not really an option to do storage replica or to configure it or anything like that. So that's why we need to use the power of PowerShell. So I'm going to close the server manager up and within our storage to server, I want you to keep in mind this E drive because it's going to change once we do the process of the storage replica. Let's go inside storage one machine. Let's go inside PowerShell. Make sure that the PowerShell is being run as an administrator, and to make life simple, uh, I'm just doing a, I'm just gonna do a copy and paste. And the reason why I'm doing a copy and paste is because you know rather than typing it, drive myself nuts. I'm just gonna give you guys the notes that I'm using for the for the video. So we're using the SR partnership. We're giving the source computer name, which is the name of the computer, uh, which is the first server. And the source RG name, whatever source RG name that you want to provide it, it's really up to you. I'm just giving it source RG. You can actually change it to the name of the server. Source volume name it might be different for you. For me, it's the E drive, which is the data. And for the source log volume name, it's going to the F drive. Again, for your environment, it might change. Now, for the destination, you're going to use the destination computer name attribute. And then you're going to provide the computer name. For me, it was storage rep two. Now, for this to work correctly, make sure that DNS is working within your infrastructure because if not, it's not going to work correctly. 
Uh, you're also going to be using a destination RG name. I'm going to set it as destination RG. It's up to you if you want to change it. And for the volume, again, we're telling the volume, the source volume to be an E. So the destination is also going to be E. You could change it up in your environment. It really depends on you. Now for the destination, log volume is going to be F. I kept everything nice and simple. Uh, the first server has E and F. Second server has E and F. It just ke it keeps everything nice and consistent and easy to manage. So I'm going to highlight this entire commandlet. Let's copy it. Let's paste it. And we're going to hit enter. Now, once you hit enter, it doesn't really look like anything is happening, but something is happening behind the scenes and just have to just be patient until it completely finishes. Uh, the way that, the way that you know it finishes is when you see the, the PowerShell command prompt, you know, come up. Now it looks like it's processing. Awesome. This is great. All right. It looks like it's completed. You're going to get this information right here telling you the computer name, uh, the source RG name, which whatever you provide it and the destination. So that's the destination and we're dropping it inside storage rep two, which is this guy right here. So if you go inside, look, the E drive has changed. It's been modified, which is cool. It looks like it storage replica is working. Uh, if you want to check because there's no console or anything, there's a commandlet that I'm going to provide you guys to check for right click copy. I'm going to paste it right here. So once you paste it, just hit enter. Once you hit enter, just constantly check on the, the commandlet because eventually it's going to, that zero is going to change. Uh, it really depends on your network. Again, I'm, my drive has already content in it. So this guy right here is going to start pushing stuff out. But if you look at the F drive, F drive looks like this content in the logs looks like it's being pushed out over there. If you go over here, nothing yet. Let me refresh. Yeah, it's going to take some time, but look like the F drive again. It looks like the F drive, something's happening behind the scenes. It's just, you have to be patient and just constantly use this commandlet to check of what's happening. But that's it guys. You just got to constantly continue checking to make sure if something is being copied over, something will be copied over is because depending on how much information you have on that drive to copy over and be replicated, it's going to take a while. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy how to configure a storage replica. If you have any comments or concerns, leave them at the bottom. Do not forget about hitting that like button and I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.